Now that the Oscars have been handed out, you might be thinking about catching up on the award-winning movies you missed, or now maybe just a good time to get a head start on next year's potential nominees. The average price for a movie ticket is almost $8. That doesn't mean you need a big budget to enjoy the movies. Here with some money-saving tips, Kelly Grant, Senior Consumer Reporter for SmartMoney.com. Kelly, as always, good to see you. Good morning. Good morning. You say buy in bulk. What do you mean? Well, I mean, $8, that may be the average, but certainly consumers can be spending a lot more. But if you buy a lot of these big bulk passes in advance, then you can save 30 to 50% off of the ticket prices. You'll see these. They pop up online at daily deal sites like Groupon or at the warehouse club like Costco. So you can pick those up there. Just know, though, if you want to see a 3D movie or an IMAX, you can still use the passes, but you might have to pay a And those search. big bulk passes, what exactly are those? It's basically, it's a movie ticket that you can, that doesn't expire. You can use it at any point. Some some of them, they, you can use them right away. Others, the movie has to be in theaters for maybe a week or two before you can redeem it. All right, let's say you want to stay home now. Maybe we consider streaming a movie. You say look for a discount. They're, usually streaming is pretty good prices. We see that for maybe three to four bucks to rent a, a fairly new release movie. Um, but oftentimes you'll find sales on those. Amazon, Apple, they'll run sales for maybe 99 cents streaming, and that's going to be about a quarter of the usual price. So always check and see if there's a sale available before you rent. Skip the big theaters? Give yes. and take here, though, maybe. A, a little bit. I mean, you can you can save pretty substantially if you're looking at some of these independent theaters or so-called dollar chains. I mean, prices start at 75 cents to go see a movie. That's pretty phenomenal, considering. Uh, but you will have to hold off if you want to see anything that's really popular. Most of these chains don't get the releases until they've been in theaters for two or three months. Grab discount codes. Easiest way to do that, get on an email list. Yes, if you're if you're interested in Redbox, uh, Redbox, Blockbusters, kiosks, any of those other kiosks that are out there, definitely sign up for their email list. Start looking for the coupon codes out there. A lot of times they do offer codes work good for a free night's rental. So that's a nice little deal there. But you do need to make sure that you return the movie by the deadline the next day or you are going to be charged for an extra night. And then we've talked about these before. Grab second hand discount cards. Pretty good deal. Uh, <laughs> it sounds cheap. It is. I mean, secondhand gift cards. Gift cards, uh, right. you, know, you know, it's it's an unusual one. But if you go to eBay or sites like PlasticJungle.com, you'll find discounts of up to thirty percent, and that you can find them usually for some of the major theater chains. If you want to buy some movies, uh, Best Buy, and a lot of times, even if you're selling another gift card that you don't want, they'll give you Amazon credit, which is good for renting their streaming movies too. Excellent. We'll have to go to the movies sometime, Kel. We'll make it happen. Sounds good. Kelly Grant <laughs> from SmartMoney.com. Kelly, as always, thank you so much. Thank you.